All right, what I'd like to concentrate on now is I wanna get this text in and this line and the heading in here. So we're gonna concentrate on those bits. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna copy this text here so that I can use it. Okay, go back to my editor and I'm gonna just put it in right here. So I have a paragraph and paste my text in. Okay, now in Photoshop, you see that the words Amoeba Power are bold. And I think those are bold because they should be emphasized. So I'm gonna put them in a strong element because I think those, those words are extra important. You know, it's kind of like really important. Okay, so there is our paragraph and I'm gonna put a class on this. I'm gonna call it intro because if we look in my Photoshop here, you can see that this font is a little bit bigger than this font. So I feel like this is the default font size. You can see it's even 16 PX. So that means to me that it's the default. Whereas this one here is a little bit bigger at 20 PX. So it's probably supposed to be a little bit bigger. So that's why I put the class on it. So let's go and look at this in Chrome and you can see it looks pretty good. The font size needs to be fixed. So let's go do that. And I think even in Photoshop, the color here, I don't think is even black. You can see it's really dark gray. So I probably wanna set that to be dark gray. So I'm gonna just go up to my HTML element here. I'll set the default color for all fonts to be the dark gray. And that will fix that one thing. So now it's dark gray, but the font size needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna write dot intro, give it the font size of 1.5. 25M. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. Okay, so the text is in there now, but you'll notice on the left hand side here it's touching the edge of the screen. But if we look in Photoshop, you can see it has nice padding on the sides here. So there's padding on each side and it actually lines up. The navigation lines up all the way down the side here. The, the line lines up, the heading these amoeba, amoeba thingies, everything sort of lines up on the side all the way down. The only things that don't line up is you can see the navigation, the pink touches the edge, but the text lines up. And the same thing up here, the pink and the stripes touch the edge, but these buttons line up. So what I think I'll do is because everything, just about everything lines up on, on that space right there, I feel like it would be appropriate to put the space on the body. So what I'm gonna do is on the left and right sides, I'm gonna put padding like this. And so that gives me my space over here, which is what I was looking for, but you can see then it screws up my heading or my banner. So I just wanna go back and fix the banner and I could use uh, negative margins on it. So if I went margin zero negative 10 PX, that would pull it back out into that padding space I just created like that and would give me exactly the effect that I'm looking for. So the negative margin is really helpful in this situation because it allows me to sort of create this layout that I'm looking for. All right, so that gets me my text in place. I think that looks pretty decent. Let's move on now to this line here. Now there are a bunch of different ways we could do that line. Um, we could use borders, we could use the HR, um, in this situation, I feel like an HR might be okay because we are creating sort of a thematic break between this introduction and this sort of list of all the amigos. So we're kind of creating a theme break. So I think we'll use an HR. So I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna put an HR, H, not an H2, an HR. Okay, let's go style it. So HR. So HRs are a little bit finicky to style. What you wanna do is remove all the borders from them and then just put a border on the top or the bottom. So let me start with margins here, 1.5, zero, padding zero. And I also wanna put a, a height on it. Let's put a height of zero. Because again, HRs are a little bit finicky to style. And I'll go border zero, and then we'll say border Top, and we'll put whatever border one we want on the top, like 4px solid, and I don't know what color that is. Let's go get that color. That is this AF color. How to 
does that look then? Ah, that looks pretty good. Cool. Now, another thing with this paragraph here, I always like to style my paragraphs a specific way. So I'm going to target paragraphs, all the paragraphs on the page, and I'm going to get rid of their top margin, and I'm going to only put a margin on the bottom. Now you may be wondering where I got that 1.5 from, and the same as the 1.5 here, where did I get that from? So if we're thinking about typography and creating a nice vertical rhythm, if we go back up to the top here, you can see I set the line height for my text to be 1.5. So what I'm doing at the bottom of the paragraph, I'm creating space equal to the height of one line. And the same thing around my HRs, I'm creating space on both sides equal to the height of one line. So that just creates a nice space between those. But you can see up here, I kind of messed up in that now the intro paragraph is touching the top. So I probably just want to go back here and target my intro margin top and give it a 1.5M like that. So all paragraphs will only have margins on the bottom by default, but then the intro has one on the top to push it down.